Hi everyone, Willem D. Ritter here with Quality First Real Estate and your next installment of my vlog, Equity Watchdog. This week I wanna talk about um, a running theme in the industry, which is the low barrier to entry. Your hairdresser or esthetician, they have something like 800 hours of training. For three online courses, a couple hundred bucks, and a very easy test, you can get your real estate license and start helping people with the biggest decision of their lives. That's pretty scary to think about. So there is an 87% failure rate in our industry, meaning there are so many people coming in, they get tired of whatever it is that they're doing, and then they re quickly realize it's not exactly what they thought, much more difficult than they thought, and then they're quickly back out. So in that time, they leave you know a wake of destruction with all the people that they've screwed up their deals. You know, the average agent across the country is only selling about five homes a year. That's really low. Would you, you know, trust a doctor who occasionally comes into the office, does four or five surgeries a year, and he's like, guess what? Today, I'm your guy. That herniated disc, I'm gonna fix that for you. And you're like, wait, what? You've only done this a few times? That's terrifying. There are so many important steps when it comes to buying or selling a house, both of, each of which is very different, by the way, so you need somebody who's experienced in each of those transactions. Um, if you're working with an agent who's very inexperienced, it can literally cost you tens of thousands of dollars, and I mean that. It costs you 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars by hiring the wrong agent who's not looking out for your best interests. So there's so many people who get into the industry because they watch million dollar lists and they see these guys and girls making you know hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, and they're like, that's glamorous. They've got a driver, they've got all this stuff, that looks amazing. But what they don't see is the decade before when that person was doing all the different steps and wearing all these hat to, hats to get to that point in their business. And these people run it like a business. They don't occasionally sell a house. These, you know, Bravo isn't giving them business. This is their true business and they're selling you know, 50, 100, hundreds of homes a year. So, um, by the way, I love the show, love it, huge fan, but it's not reality. And it's not how it is when you get into the industry. Um, it makes it look fun though. So I see it all the time. I see a seller or somebody online, they're selling their house, their $750,000 house, and they have a friend or somebody they met at a mall or whatever the case is, and they're like, yeah, I can help you do that. They come over, they take a few photos with their iPhone, they put it on the MLS, and they just hope and pray that somebody comes and sees the house and makes them an offer. That's not how it works now. Um, you know, professional agents understand that online appeal is a new curb appeal. You only get one shot at a first impression and selling your house is no different. So that's very important. Um, you know, and then when you're buying, you need somebody who knows the ins and outs of the process. What am I looking for in this house? What should I be scared of? What are the, the, the costly components of the house that I need to really inspect and pay attention to? Where are we at in the real estate cycle? If I wanna sell this in a couple years, I'm gonna get my money back. If I wanna buy you know, my next move up house or move down, how am I gonna leverage this house and take that equity and move it around? So somebody who really will strategize with you and come up with a best plan to best serve your needs. It's very important that you hire somebody who's willing to do that for you. So again, back to um, kind of the, the lack of education and the, the, the low volume that the average agent does. Again, about five deals a year. If an agent's only doing four, five, six transactions a year, selling five, six houses, that agent, they're not gonna be looking out for your best interest. They want smooth sailing. They want that transaction to close so they get paid. It's called commission breath. So they're not fiercely negotiating for you and on your, on your behalf to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. They just wanna kind of push things forward, make sure everything's moving along so they can close and get paid. They don't care about if you, you know, lose five grand in a negotiation. That's not important to them. That closing's important to them. That's why you wanna work with somebody who's experienced and they're doing a higher volume of transactions because they know they're gonna help you along down the way, whether it's on this house or another one or with this buyer or another buyer. They know that they're doing what's best for you. That's super important to consider and think about when making a hire. So that's just some food for thought. If you're thinking about making a move soon, consider those things when, when you're hiring an agent. Um, I'll see you next time on Equity Watchdog. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.